thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you how to make this really adorable little flying bat card for Halloween. There are a couple things I'm still going to add to it, but here is um, the cutest little card and it's using a technique that I saw another demonstrator, Don Olchewski, use in a recent card that she posted on YouTube and so I thought I would tweak it a little bit and add my little bat to it. So let's get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is to get a piece of glossy white paper and using my two and a half inch circle punch I've taken a little stack of my post-it notes and have punched out a couple. I did two and it worked out really well to give it um, enough depth so that when I punch it it'll actually punch through my circle punch and so I've taken that and I want to make sure that I get my sticky on there and um, I'm going to cut down my glossy white paper just a little bit here so that it will fit on a standard card. So I'm going to cut this down to, uh, let's see, I'm going to cut it down to five and an eighth. Okay, so now I'm going to add my circle here, about there, and I'm going to use some some different inks. I'm going to be using the Daffodil Delight, the Pumpkin Pie, and I'm going to use the Tangerine Tango. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stamping sponge, and my first color is my lightest color, and I'm going to ink up my sponge, and I'm going to brush out from the center of this circle here, and I'm going to just blend it a little bit. And I can darken it if I want to by inking it up a little bit more. You can see how it's getting a little bit darker. And I'm just going to kind of pull out the ink. Then I'm going to take my pumpkin pie. And I'm sure some of you are going to cringe, but I'm going to use the same stamping sponge. In fact, maybe I should wipe some of it off. But because I'm going to blend the colors, and this is a darker color, I don't mind so much. Usually I'm quite picky about it. Um, then I'm going to just ink up my pumpkin pie, and I'm going to just work off just a little bit of that yellow I put down, the Daffodil Delight. Just kind of start blending those colors together. Okay. Then lastly, I'm going to take just a little bit of the Tangerine Tango. And these are actually the new foam pads. I was interested to see how they would do versus the old classic ink pads. And um, I think it works really well. And for this one, I kind of just want to get the outer edges. So I'm going to kind of blend it just on the edges. Okay. So I've got a pattern that looks something like this. I'm going to take the, the edge of my sponge and I'm going to just kind of blend one final sweep off of my glossy white paper here to take off some of the strange looking marks that the ink was making. Okay, very, very cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just peel off my mask here and I have my spooky moon. Okay, to finish this card, I'm going to use a piece of the Elegant Eggplant cardstock and I'm going to cut it down a little bit. I'm going to use basic black as the base of my card. So this is the standard four and a quarter by um, 11 and scored at five and a half. I'm going to use the Elegant Eggplant as my mat. I need to cut that down an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to cut half inch off the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to actually not worry so much about this because I'm going to show you how um, Donald Chevsky 
made this super adorable little fence that's going to be a keeper for me. And I'm going to just adhere it down with my snail. You know, something I think is really funny that I, I just laugh at all the time <laughs> is why do we as crafters turn the paper over when it's exactly the same on both sides? I think that's really very, very cute. Alright, and then I'm going to adhere my spooky moon. Okay, so the way that you make the fence is this is a piece of basic gray, and you're going to love this. This is the rosette big sty, and all you do is you're going to lay your going gray cardstock on the edged top well, I guess it's the top of mine, of this Big Shot and die. And when you do that, you get the cool fence. So that's how you do it. Um, then, if you gently take the, per the score lines, not to score them hard, but to score them just a little bit, so that you can come in maybe with some basic gray. On this one, I used Whisper White, but I'm going to try what basic gray is going to do. I mean, excuse me, basic black. So you just fold it enough so that you can get in there and just give that a little bit of an, a, a weathered look on that fence. Now out of my piece of eight, of eight and a half by 11, I'm able to get two of these little fences, which is about right since it's the same standard card and then I'm going to just edge up the fence post tops again to give it that little bit of a weathered fence look. All right. Oh, adorable. So cute. Okay. So then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my snail adhesive and I'm going to attach this right to the bottom of my card. That's a little bit short, but I'm actually okay with that. So you might need to trim your fence just a little bit because the rosette die might not be exactly um, even as you go across, even though you try to, to get it even. Okay. So here's my little fence and my moon. And this is something that I um, received as a swap at the Stamping Up convention that I thought was extremely clever and it's using the Owl Punch and a piece of basic black cardstock. I'm going to punch out the owl's body and then two of the wings. You can punch out two of the medium sized circles for his eyes. Then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Whisper White Craft Ink and I'm going to actually use the other end, end of that sponge that I used previously and I'm going to just sponge around his, the outside of the body and the two wings with the Whisper White. Then I'm just going to adhere those pieces together with my snail adhesive. And what I want to do is I want to give it this kind of um, bat-like wing. So I'm going to take my wing and I'm going to attach it like this. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so cute. All right.
right, and then I'm going to take my two-way glue pen. Oops, I lost an eye. Oh, there they are. Good. My two-way glue pen, and I'm going to just put some glue on each of these pieces of Whisper White that I punched out. And you can either use googly eyes. On this one I did use googly eyes, so I want to see what non-googly eyes will look like. So I'm just going to get my basic black Stamping Right marker and just put a dot here for the center of the eyes. And then with my gel pen, I'm going to just draw a doodle smile. And I'm going to actually draw a couple of teeth on the end of his smile there. And then using a dimensional, I'm going to put it onto the back and I'm going to pop it up here onto my card. And then, you know what I forgot to do was to use the striped satin ribbon and I can just add that here. So I really like using this technique with the ribbon. And it's just cutting the length of your card, which is five and a half. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of adhesive on the ends and in the middle. So the middle helps attach it so that it won't move around while I tuck the ends underneath. Now ideally I would have done this before I adhered it to the cardstock base. Because I'm going to need to put a little bit of adhesive now over the ribbon so that it will stick back to the card base. And I'm going to just tuck this one underneath. So sorry about that. I'm sure you're a lot like me. You have to go back and fix things. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to just take another piece about three inches and I'm going to tie it here for a faux knot. So one thing about knots is that I want the striped part to be on top, so as I pull it through, I'm going to make sure that both of those ends are pointing up, are on top. Okay. Alright, then last but not least, I need my Happy Halloween greeting. What I'm going to do is I take, um, I've taken a piece of very vanilla cardstock and using the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set, I've stamped out Happy Halloween in Very Vanilla and punched it out with the word window punch. And then I took a piece of basic black and punched out the modern label. And there he is. A very, very cute and very fun little bat for your Halloween card. And I'm going to add the same sentiment here to this card. There he is. Hope you have a great time making these for your favorite Halloween friends. And I look forward to you joining me again soon for more ideas, tips, and tricks. Check out my website for more information, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.